Good morning. Today is September 22nd, 2022. And today I have a good game for you. And it's a small miniature games, 25 moves. Basically, uh, today's topic is Pawn Rush. Uh, let's start with the puzzle. I have three puzzles for you today. Here's the first puzzle. What has just moved the rook? to d3. What should I do? Next puzzle. What has just moved the pawn to c3? What should I do? Next puzzle. White has just moved the pawn to b3. What should I do? Alright, let's begin. Uh, this is basically a little modification from my usual play. Over here, this is of course my favorite opening. Uh, this is slightly different. Usually, what I do uh, on the fourth move is to move this pawn over here. Obviously, that did not happen uh, because I moved the knight over there. But usually, I move my fourth pawn over there. The reason I did not do so is because you got this pawn and the knight all developed. So, normally, I would try to contest this square. Next move. And now I push the pawn. After all, the, uh, the pawn is no longer there. And this is the, this kind of structure over here is pretty typical. Over here, and then and then the knight would move over here and contest this square over here because the pawn will move over here. So uh, that's pretty standard opening right now. This is not a standard opening. Usually I just push it up directly. So, a little bit variation over here. Now, uh, this is again not standard. What I usually do is I push the pawn over here and lock this bishop in. Like, uh, let me do that for you. Normally I would push the pawn up over here, right? And, and lock the bishop over there and then this pawn will have like free real estate coming up here, like totally sep isolated, separated from the, the forces over here, from uh, the forces that's uh, basically here. This cannot do anything regarding this pawn over there. So, so normally I would do that, but not today. So take the pawn away. Next move. And it's it's an open game. You can tell over here. This basically open, and this is open. You know, there's always a threat of bishop moving over there. Check and bishop over here. If once this pawn is liquidated, because I have this two, because I have this two being attacking. Sometimes I got uh, push the pawn over here and attack that. So. So white's gonna have a problem defending over here, and you look at the evaluation over here. I have advantage. I have initiative over here. So far, material is even, but I have initiative. <coughs> anyway, next move. And again, imagine if you will the pawn stuck here. All the forces uh, that was here still stuck there, and now I don't have that at anymore. You know, now now I cannot freely push the pawn over here. So pushing the pawn become very difficult thing to do right now. Anyway, next move, and this is the first puzzle. This is actually a mistake. You can tell by the evaluation here. Suddenly, I have 
a good advantage, not just initiative. I have an advantage over here. And what should I do? And here's the thing. I can basically uh, do several things. I can basically do a check here. Or I can do push one of these rock over here. Basically, I'm going to just push this rock over here and double up because the rock here is going to support the pawn over here. So, so that's what I would do. But before that, I want to do something else. And that's the title or the topic of today's game, which is pawn rush. Here, push the pawn up. Push another pawn up, push another pawn up, and suddenly I have really solid initiative. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's even better than before. Now I'm of the rook of a third. So, so by doing three extra moves right here, by doing three pawn moves right there. I have gained a great initiative. Then I push the pawn. Then I push the rook up. So, you know, it's kind of like a play style. Uh, I prefer it this way. But if you want to move the rook directly, that's fine too. Computer doesn't say anything bad about it. So, anyway, next move. White is trying to gain initiative, but as you can tell from the evaluation, that's a mistake. You're not supposed to do that. So this is puzzle number two. What should I do? Nice thing about this is that uh, bishop over here, uh, like threatening the queen right there. So I could have done something like that, or I could have done something like that, threatening the rook here. And if you want to do that, that's fine too. Again, computer does not say anything bad about this one. But hey, I got to make my own move. Suddenly, taking this pawn with the pawn is a bad idea because not only the rook is stacking the queen, the rook is stacking that pawn either. Also, the queen can just go there directly and meet the king. So, yeah, the, that pawn there is not going to take that my pawn. So, next move. And it's still valid because if you take that pawn, like rook just go there, like mid. So, yeah, what's not playing very well, is it? This is more like a of a bluff, really. Uh, I noticed the knight is guarding this pawn, but of course, it's not really that much. Uh, basically, the knight is stuck over here. It that cannot move. But do I really want to take that knight? No, because if I take that knight, the rook's gonna move here and secure this square over here. So I don't really want to, you know, take the knight with my bishop. So this is more like a bluff rather than uh, an outright attack. And you look at the valuation. This is minus seven, this is minus six. So yeah, it's not as good as before. I still have advantage. But if this is actually a bluff, not uh, another tactics. And what basically took the bait. So now I can take the pawn. And queen takes. And I guess uh, that's puzzle number three over there. Uh, so, <coughs> pawn takes pawn. Notice the bishop is hanging over there, and that's actually the bait. Uh, I, I purposely push the bishop over there because if the queen takes the bishop, pawn move and the knight. The good way for white to defend this is to move the knight over here. But, like I said, bishop goes here, and suddenly, 
you secure this square over here. So it's really solid. It's really solid play by play. Anyway, next move. And that's a blunder. Big blunder. Because what can white do over there? Check. And that's it. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. Move Turn the rook over there. Or maybe move that queen. So, so basically it goes like this. Boom. And that's it. That's secure. Secure. And then I can do it here, and I can go here. So, very strong attack. White resign. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.